Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tactical belt for any character inside of Blender. So let's get started. The first step is to create a uh, path, a curve. Uh, so I'm going to press Shift A, select this little menu here, and then press Circle. And then we're going to scale it down. So that way it matches the size of the waist. So let's press S, let's scale down, let's drag your mouse down. Just right about there. So this is going to be used to uh, use a, an array modifier once we start creating like little pieces to add on to the belt. But this is just the first step. So the next step is to create a uh, circle. So that way we can extrude and start creating like a, a waist strap. And this will be the main part of the belts. So shift A and then creates select mesh and then circle. And we're scale it down. And here I'm just gonna go to side view, pressing through my numpad, and rotate it on the x-axis. So R and X, and then rotate it through mouse. Right about there. Just that way it kind of follows the, the angle of the waist. And you go to, into edit mode, press tab, press two on your uh, keyboard. So that way you can select, go into edge mode, and then press E to extrude downward. So that's, so I'm trying to not mess it up though. Let's extrude downward, and then it's good. So now we're gonna apply the shrink wrap modifier. So that way it wraps around the waist on the surface of the base mesh, this black part here. So shrink wrap modifier. Make sure you're in this uh, tab right here, the wrench, shrink wrap, and we're going to select, select the targets as the base mesh. So it, it's kind of uh, clipping through a little bit, so we can fix that by increasing the offset a little bit. So, just a, so not too much though, just a little bit. So I'd say like 0 0.1, 0 0.01, that's good. And I'm going to apply a uh, subdivision surface modifier, so add modifier. Subdivision surface, so that way it's a little smoother. I'm going to shade it smooth, so right click on it. Shade smooth. And I'm going to move it up a bit. And we're pretty much done with that. So that's kind of how the belt is going to look. So here I'm just going to go into edit mode, press tab again, and kind of fix this weird uh, curve here. Try to make it a little bit more even. It looks kind of weird, but uh, that's fine. So, there we go. so now we're going to apply a solidify modifier to the belt, so that way it has a little bit of thickness. So select the belts in object mode, and add modifier, and solidify. And that'll add a little bit of thickness. I'm going to up the thickness a little bit. Too much, but that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna start creating the buckle. So Shift A, create a cube. I'm gonna scale it down quite a bit. Press S and then drag your mouse down with the bits. It's gonna be in the centers of the base mesh, which is not where we want it. Uh, we want to move it forward. So press G and then Y, and that'll move it on the Y axis. Just as long as uh, it's ahead of this part, go to front view and start creating the shape. So I'm going to scale it on the y axis to make it a little bit thinner. I'm going to edit mode and then deselect everything, press AA and then press 2 on your numpad, or not 2 on your numpad, but 2 on your keyboard. So that way you can just like the edges and I'm going to press Control b to bevel them so that way we can start creating a nice shape and just add a little bit of extra detail i'm going to select this face here so press 3 and then select this face press i to inset and then i to inset again and we're just gonna select this face here and drag it backward a little bit so that way it uh, 
goes inward a bit and scale it down a little bit so it's not clipping through too much and that looks good so now we're going to go back into object mode press tab to exit edit mode and then move it pretty much like right here and uh, scale it according to your needs if it's clipping through like this then you might want to edit the size a little bit but that looks pretty good So the next step is to start creating some pieces that we can wrap around the belts to add some extra detail. So I'm going to create a cube, so press Shift-A, select this menu here, and then cube. Uh, I'm just going to move this out of the way. So G and then X, and move it out of the way. So here we're just going to essentially create like a strap, or a, like a pocket kind of. So Go into edit mode, control R to add some edge loops. And here I'm just going to select this edge here and move it forward like this. So it's kind of like a, a little pocket for like some kind of equipment. Now that looks pretty good. So I'm going to shade smooth. And we're going to go back into edit mode and add some uh, edges to sharpen everything up. So edge loop here. I'm going to add an edge loop right here to fix this shading problem. And an edge loop here. And to add edge loops, just press Ctrl R and then drag it to wherever you want. And then click uh, left click and that'll finalize everything. So here I'm just going to add one more edge loop. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to start duplicating this piece, so that way we have some variation. So I'm going to go into edit mode, press tab, select everything with A, and then duplicate, shift D. Scale down a bit, and make it a little skinnier on our x-axis. Select everything with A, and then shift D, duplicate, and then just move it over. Scale it down again. Uh, you want each little pocket to be a little different, so that way it looks uh, a little more detailed and non-repetitive. So that looks pretty good. So here I'm just going to create a little spacing here. And duplicate again. So I'm going to leave that gap there. So now we're just going to rotate it on the... Go back to object mode, and then rotate it on the z-axis. 90 degrees, so R Z 90, uh, 90, and then just kind of move this right here. And now we're just gonna the curve modifier and set the targets as the Bezier circle that we created earlier. And it looks it's not really where we want it to be, so we have to kind of rotate it on the Z axis a bit, like right here, and then kind of move it. Press G and then Y and then drag outward a little bit. And just kind of move it along the path to where it looks good. So here I just uh, moved G and then X and then I it'll slide along the circle like this. And so I want it just like right here. And then we're going to do it again. So it's Shift D to duplicate the whole thing and move it or press uh, G X and then I'll move it along the path again to the other side. And it's Pretty good. Just kind of make sure there's no gaps between the belt and the little pieces. So I'm going to do this again. So Shift D and then just move it along the path and the GX, G, uh, G, then X. I was about to say G axis, but it's actually the X axis. Just move it along. It's kind of hard to get it right sometimes. Press G, then Y, and then kind of move it inward a bit. Just make sure it doesn't clip through the belt. There we go. Now I'm going to rotate this a little bit so that way it's following the uh, angle of the waist. So select the circle, 
path that we created and then just rotate the whole thing on the x-axis a little bit forward like that and then scale and I'm gonna go into edit mode on the circle and we can kind of manually place some of these path points without affecting the rest so here I'm just gonna remove these little points and just get it to look good Here I'm just going to move this out of the buckle because it's it's a little too close to the buckle. Uh, we're almost done with the belt, so basically all I'm going to do now is just add some extra little details. So let's look, create a cylinder. So Shift A, cylinder, change the vertices to eight, and then move it into basically like this area right here. Scale it down a bit, and then scale it on the z-axis. So that way it's a little bit more skinny and narrow. So it'll kind of be like a some kind of canister. And here I'm just gonna create like a little extra detail. So press E and S, scale upward, and then E again. Just but just move it upward. And same here. So E, S, and then move it down. E and then downward. So here I'm just gonna. Scale down a bit. I'm not going to do any kind of modifiers. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm just kind of duplicate it again, Shift D, and then get rid of this section here. Get rid of these faces. And press X to delete them. But uh, now we're just going to go Shift Alt and then select this set of edges here. Once you have the edge mode selected, you do the same here. So holding down shift. Press bridge edge loops. Uh, actually, no, do one at a time. Sorry. Press F to fill, and then F to fill again. Now we got like a, a good little extra detail there. I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. So select both, holding down shift, and then duplicates, and just kind of move it to a different position, and uh, you know, make it a little bit smaller or larger. Here I'm just going to kind of get rid of this piece. And here I can I noticed that it's actually flipping, which is not good. But, uh, that's pretty much it. I think from this point you should get the idea. You're just adding little details along the strap. It can be anything you like. It doesn't have to be anything specific. That's pretty much it. So now we're going to join everything together and apply all of our modifiers to finish everything off. So here I'm going to go to the belt strap and then press apply, apply, and then do the same here. The belts, uh, and just that's pretty much all the modifiers. So now we're going to get rid of that path that we created. So Select the path and then press delete on your keyboard or X. Actually, not X, but just delete. Uh, so let's apply that right here. But I, I thought I applied everything, but I actually didn't. Now we can actually delete the circle and then go ahead and join everything together. So shift, holding down shift, and just selecting all these pieces. And then once you have them all selected, press Control J to join everything together. Now we create a single piece. And now we're really done with this. Uh, but so I'm going to go back into edit mode and add some edge loops here on the, uh, the belt strap to sharpen the uh, pieces a little bit so it's not weirdly smooth shade, shaded smooth. But um, we're pretty much done with this. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try to answer them. And if you could please like and subscribe, it would really help out my channel a bunch right now because the gains are really huge starting off. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time.